John Donne was an Elizabethan poet who, after a randy life, became a Christian. And one of his stellar lines that still rings through history is, no man is an island. And while he's talking about his own life journey, it's really a biblical premise. But well, we have to come to Jesus Christ one on one. God has no grandchildren. Jesus, when he brings us into his family, wants us to be part of community. The Christian life is, is not a solo act. I knew that as a pastor and I keep rediscovering it in my own pilgrimage. I came back to uh, Birmingham in 2014. I was on staff here at SMI, the first church I served out of seminary back in the 70s and 80s. And uh, then was in uh, the Midwest for 30 years of ministry and then joined World Reach where I serve as a missionary. And I've preached on four continents, um, but I bring the message back to myself. I can't isolate. And after the death of my wife in 2014 and my daughter's call to mission service uh, in Europe, which is wonderful, I found myself isolated and trying to figure out where, where do I fit in, not only in the larger community, but my church. And uh, God shepherded me through not only the fellowship of the church at large, but through the growth group ministry with Robert and Allison Funk and Chris and uh, Rachel uh, Callahan um, invited me and I found a place there. And I think it's essential that we have a group who knows our name, who holds us accountable, who lifts us up, and just shares the joys of the journey. And I have found that in our small group. Uh, it's wonderful to uh, review the message from the day and hear what uh, Pastor Rick has preached. And then in our discussions, we meet on Sunday afternoon, taking it deeper and uh, drawing from each other's wells, so to speak, as uh, we understand how this message applies to life. And so, frankly, as I was struggling to find my place in a church that had once been so familiar, but because of time passing and changes in my own life, I fell out, out of step. And uh, the important thing was to stay steady, to stay faithful in church, and to find my place. And I found it in the growth group. And so I would challenge others. Um, hard times, the devil tries to divide us uh, from the Word, from God's people. And it's really the time to draw close. And uh, as wonderful as Sunday morning and corporate worship is, and there is a place for that, an essential one, but it's also important we have the small group time. And uh, there are many uh, facets, uh, many ministry opportunities here at Shades Mountain Community Church that afford that. But I'm really grateful for my growth group. And I would encourage others to uh, consider it and add it, not just to their schedule, but to their lifestyle. I'm Bruce Peters, and this is my church.